Good morning, guys. I really quick want to show you our chicken coops and sort of how we designed them. So if you are wanting to build a chicken coop, perhaps you can get some ideas from this. My chickens are not cooperating today. No, no, shh. So you'll notice a lot of noise in the background here. I think we have a tornado siren going off. It's just a test. And then Nate's down by the garden with a trencher, trenching a line for irrigation for me. So hopefully that's not picking up too much. So I will give you a little bit of an overview here. You can see here's the first coop and it's pretty much identical to the second coop. We have runs on either end. And then in the center, we have another little coop that we didn't intend on building, but we had a chicken who was getting picked on and so she needed to be separated from the rest of the flock. And so that is her area. Now, although this is really nice for her, what I actually love about this whole design is that if I want to isolate one rooster with a couple of hens to ensure that I'm getting a purebred chick, I can do that. So over the few day period, I can collect those fertilized eggs and be assured that I'm actually getting a purebred egg. Now each coop is four feet by eight feet. They both have external nesting boxes. The outside of the coop is made with plywood and then I have just given that a good three coats of a high quality exterior paint so that that will last and it will help to protect the wood from rotting. And you can see that the coops have a good amount of ventilation for the chickens, especially in the summertime. So the roofing that we used on the two main coops is just metal roofing that you can buy at Lowe's. You'll see that there's a really big overhang on the front and the back has just a small three inch overhang. The front overhang is to protect the front of the coop from the weather, as well as to protect the top of the nesting boxes from rain and from that wood getting a little bit more wear and tear and rotting early on us. Um, also, if you're out here in the rain getting eggs, it makes it super nice because you have a little bit of cover. You'll see on these coops that on the side where we can access them, we have large doors. And these were built specifically so that it would be very easy for us to clean out. Now the coops are elevated off of the ground so that when we are cleaning, we don't have to be crouching over or bending down. We can also take a wheelbarrow in here, line it straight up with the edge of the opening and just simply rake out whatever needs to come out. So each morning we'll come out and just simply take a rake like this. We will just rake whatever droppings are on the ground. Once we get them close enough to us, we then will take a kitty litter scoop. We take a kitty litter scoop like this, and we have a bucket here, and we just simply will take those droppings, kind of sift them out, and put them in the bucket. And then this, when it's full, will go down to my compost. So you can see that that's a really easy way to keep the coop clean, free from smelling, and the eggs are always clean for us this way. Okay, let's talk about the runs really quickly. They are just made out of two by fours, kind of framed together like you would frame a wall in a house. They're covered with half inch hardware cloth. And then that hardware cloth is brought down into the ground and then covered up so that predators cannot dig underneath. So here's a view of the run from the backside. And you can see on this side of the chicken coop, the chickens have their door to get in and out and a cute little ramp there. So after we had built the walls of the run, the top of the run was open. Now we could have, thank you. We could have used hardware cloth along the top, but that would have meant putting braces up there to support the hardware cloth. So because we didn't want to have to fool with that, I simply took 14 gauge wire and went ahead and strung it from one side to the other this way and then from here down to that end just to keep out any hawks or other type of predators. What we use inside the runs is simply wood chips and we get these from local arborists um, and so this is a really nice way to keep the runs 
uh, nice and clean. One thing that's really nice about having the elevated coops besides the ease of cleaning is also that it gives the chickens some shade. You can see some chickens down in that far right coop underneath there. Um, that is also where we keep their feed so that it doesn't get wet if it's raining during the day. Another way that we provide the chickens shade is that we have planted grapes all along both of these runs. So when these grapes are in bloom in the spring and summer and their leaves are full, it provides a great wall of shade for the chickens. Well, I hope you guys found this video helpful. Hopefully it gave you a few things to think about if you're considering building your own coops and getting chickens. But one thing I will tell you is that the egg that you get from your own chickens is so much better than anything that you will get at the grocery store. So thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. And if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below.